Hello folks, and here we are again with another property video. We find ourselves today on the delightful Russell Terrace, this beautiful tree-lined avenue just south of the river, near the centre of Leamington Town Centre itself, is a wonderful, wonderful residential spot with an easy reach of the town centre, local amenities and the train station. Here we have a fantastic hidden gem, an absolute beauty of a property. It is traditional in style, but actually built in the 1980s and a wonderful, wonderful family home. It's three bedrooms. We have a large kitchen dining room, guest WC. Principal bedroom also benefits from an ensuite shower room as well. And most importantly, we also have lawn gardens to both front and rear elevations. Let me show you around. So, Walking down our private footpath here, which leads up to the entrance door, and this lovely little entrance porch, which also has direct access through into the rear garden as well. I'm just going to slip my shoes off as I'm going inside, and we've got light coloured carpets in here. But it really is a very, very attractive property, this. So, as I say, wonderful entrance porch, these lovely half moon windows here in the timber and glazed door giving access into that rear garden to my left you've got the timber and glazed door which opens into the inner hallway you can see on the right hand side of the picture there is the guest wc on the left is an 18 foot living room and then on the right the kitchen diner we'll start off with the living room i think two large traditional style timber frame windows to the front elevation here and a centrally mounted traditional style gas living flame effect fireplace. Ample room in here for living room furniture. They've got a three seater as well as quite a large two seater sofa and armchairs, side tables, end tables, and a fair size bookcase as well. So it really is a nice size this. As I say, it's built in a Regency style to a very, very good standard in all fairness. And you get lovely ceiling heights, big windows, and lots of charm and character. So heading back through into the entrance hall, or inner hallway, should I say, you've got access through into the kitchen and dining area. Now it was two separate rooms, but they've had the wall taken out properly, and it then creates a much more practical dining space at this end which then leads down into a nice size kitchen at that end. But more importantly, there's also room still for informal dining at the breakfast bar. And the kitchen itself comprises a range of hand-painted wall and base-mounted units with contrasting solid butcher's block work surfaces over. And you've got a Belfast sink on the right-hand side of the picture. Integrated appliances include fan-assisted electric oven, countertop-mounted halogen hob and brushed stainless steel extractor with space and plumbing provided there for a washing machine. And if I step down here and spin around, you can see there's ample space up top for a large upright fridge freezer. Now, easily enough space up in the dining area there for six, maybe even eight people at a push. And you've got rear facing timber frame window there and there, more importantly, direct access out onto the paved rear dining terrace and lawn rear garden. Really pretty garden this. Gated rear access as well. And the ace in the hole with this property is it also comes with two private parking spaces located to the rear of the house. Something you certainly wouldn't get with its Victorian or Edwardian counterparts. So there is the entrance hall and inner lobby area as we said before and then spinning background of course we have the guest wc as well one thing i didn't mention you've also got um under stairs storage there so ideal space for hoover and whatnot and then nice modern guest wc featuring low level wc with dual flush vanity unit mounted wash hand basin and you've got a centrally heated towel rail there as well it's a timber frame window there to the side elevation and I won't go around the corner but just around the corner you've actually got a recess 
and space for a tumble dryer as well. Let's head upstairs and I can show you the bedrooms. So as I said, three bedrooms, two of which are good doubles. Third one is a large single. The principal bedroom also benefits from an ensuite shower room and we have a family bathroom as well. Nice size landing and you've got drop down hatch located just up there leading to a loft storage area. Ahead of us on the front left hand side of the, uh, the picture there is an airing cupboard. And that's bedroom two on my left there. We'll start with the principal bedroom. Nice size double room. Whoops, I've just knocked the focus there. There we go. So nice size double room. And here at the moment, we've got quite a lot of furniture in all fairness. So as you can see, full size double bed with a large head and tailboard on there. They've also got room for a dressing table, large chest of drawers, ample room if you wanted bedside tables on either side. And it could easily take a king size, if not super king bed in here as well. But if I spin around, double fronted built in storage wardrobe, and of course that ensuite that we've been talking about. You also have two front facing timber frame windows overlooking the full garden as well. So, ensuite, what has it got? Well, we've got low level WC with dual flush and enclosed cistern, vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with chrome, monoblock tap, and under counter storage. If I go just around the corner here, you can see we've got an enclosed shower cubicle, which if I can pan up, has got dual headed shower, which is mains fed as well. Centrally heated towel rail in here, wall mounted extractor, and also a window to the side of the property, allowing some nice fresh air to come in. So back onto that landing space again. On my right is the family bathroom. Ahead of us is bedroom three and the airing cupboard on the right. We're going to go into bedroom two. Now, this is currently being utilised as a single room, but it is a, uh, a double. You can quite easily take a double bed, in fact. And there's a single bed in here, chest of drawers and a wardrobe with a lot of floor space through the middle, as you can see. In fact, that bed doesn't actually even come all the way to the wall, so there's quite a lot of space at the end of it as well. Another rear facing window which looks out onto the garden and I'll see if I can give you a, a peek out through here. There we go. Really, really pretty garden there as you can see. And the parking is literally located directly behind that timber fence there. I'm going to have to angle the camera down because I've just overdone that a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. But as you can see, good size room measuring in excess of 10 foot by almost 9 foot. I think it's something like 8, 9 if memory serves correctly. So a pretty reasonable double room by all accounts. Coming back round and into bedroom three, again, being utilized as a single room. In all fairness, you could put a double bed in here. Um, it would make an absolutely fine guest room. Uh, you've got space in here for a full size single, chest of drawers, also dressing table or study desk. And it also benefits from a built-in storage cupboard as well. So it is a really, really good size single, three-quarter room or guest double. To the rear, another timber frame window looking out onto that lovely rear garden as well. Right, backing up here, we're going to go into the family bathroom. Matching the suite from the ensuite, you've got low-level WC, enclosed cistern and uh, dual flush. Vanity mounted, a vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with chrome monoblock tap and under counter storage. And then round the corner, a panel bath with a fixed glass screen and a mains fed shower over. Also ceramic tiling to all splashback areas. Another side facing window, centrally heated towel rail. There's also a vanity unit mounted, uh, sorry, not vanity, a wall mounted vanity mirror my teeth in today i do apologize folks another thing to mention there is also a side facing window off the uh, the landing as well so you do get natural light coming in from all sides on this house and it is only adjoined on the first floor on one side right let me just grab my shoes and uh, we'll head out onto the 
uh, the rear garden. I can show you what's going on out there. So as I said, it is a really lovely rear garden, private, fence enclosed, and in really good order as well. I'll just slip these shoes on. There we go. So ample space here for a bit of informal garden dining. And if I pan round, you can see we've got this lovely lawned area. Ideal spot for a barbecue, a bit of outside dining, or somewhere for the kids to blow off a bit of steam. Also, as I said before, blockable gated access through there. And then you've got space for two cars parking directly up against this, uh, this fence here. So there we have it, folks. Another beautiful instruction from Peter Clark in Leamington Spa. I think you'll agree. This one being on Russell Terrace. Now, if you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Coral. Thank you for watching.